Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's uh, February 12th, 2019 in Big Bear, the Big Bear area. We're actually in Irwin Lake right now. But, uh, let me take the phone off the whole stir real quick so we can check out. That's what you drive along on Highway 38, along the front range of that, those part of the, of the range over there. But anyway, so um, this is the calm before the storm. And guys, this is the biggest storm of the season. And funny enough, right when I said that, we got a drop of uh, rain and uh, yeah, we weren't supposed to get anything until uh, tomorrow morning. However, anyway, that's not the point. It's the calm before the storm. We're in Irwin Lake right now. Um, this is, as I said, the biggest storm of the season. Snow levels are gonna start at, at or above 10,000 feet, so we're not even gonna be close. Um, it's gonna create an, just, a, just a copious amount of flooding, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. So be prepared for the people who are up here. If, uh, if your homes lie kind of in a lower area, I would definitely sandbag any possible entryways, anything like that, because um, uh, a lot of the snow is gonna melt and it's gonna flood. So yes, we have a lot of rain coming in. It could be a few inches of rain um, every day for the next three. Like, so it's gonna start tomorrow and we could get you know an inch, maybe two inches tomorrow throughout the day and then the following day they're saying at least two inches and localized heavy flooding possible um, so just just be very 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 prepared just because it's gonna rain a ton does not mean that the roads are any less safe because what's what's actually gonna happen is all that rain that heavy rain is gonna er, er, like erode more away at the rocks and, and whatnot over in the little Arctic Circle area and places that are prone to, to rock slides. So that's what's gonna happen. And it's gonna be probably pretty bad. So don't don't take uh, the rain for granted. Um, please drive just as safe as you would in the rain as you would in the snow. Um, and, and, and also with all the rain that's coming um, and flooding, hydroplaning is gonna be just like a regular thing so just please 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 be very safe be very careful give yourself extra time no matter what <clears throat> once again it's february 12 2019 49 degrees in big bear city california 2 48 p.m in big bear city so yeah yeah So just like usual, you guys can see this side of town hardly has any snow. Um, <clears throat> that's just how it goes. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so yeah. I wish straight ahead right here we could cross the cross Baldwin so we don't have to drive all the way around and whatnot. Um, it would just, I don't know, a couple more uh, uh, roads to go across would be kind of cool. I'm so thirsty. <clears throat> I want some Mountain Dew or something. Since I live in the mountains, and I guess I'm 48% Ashkenazi Jew, I guess, I like to drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> I like the Mountain Dew. So look at the sky, guys. Wow. It wasn't looking like this just 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. I love how it just transforms so quickly up here so quickly and guys I truly believe that this next little series of storms with the uh, atmospheric river onslaught is could put a little dent in, uh, in in the lake level I'm truly 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 believing that that could happen um, we just got to have a good amount of rain at a steady pace and um, we could see some uh, some pretty significant significant lake rise a few feet I'm hoping so we'll see because it doesn't take much you guys it really wouldn't take that much to fill that lake or overflow that lake and this lake is this always happens to the lake it's just a normal cycle it always happens about 40 years ago there was part of the lake when we had quite a drought um, where you could walk across from like the fawn skin area you could walk across the lake um, so 
I, I, I mean, it's, 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 this stuff happens and then it always comes back. And as I said, it's, it's, it's not going to take much. Like just because it's 17 feet low, that, that does not mean that it needs 17 feet of rainwater. I, I can understand why people would think that and, and, and where people's thought processes are at that point while they're thinking that, but that's not the case at all. You could literally refill that whole lake with just a few afternoon major monsoonal thunderstorms that dump a couple inches of rain per hour, two to three inches of rain per hour, and just have that going just for a couple hours. And uh, with all the runoff and this and that, um, that lake would, would be filled up, no problem. It's really not as dire a situation as people think because it always happens and it's gonna come back. As I said, it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. So we're taking the main road so you guys can see what they look like right now so you know what you'll be getting into. And it's, the roads are, except for you know the, the areas that are prone for rock slides and whatnot, the roads for the most part are probably gonna be better because all the snow and ice, well, during the daytime is gonna roll, you know, wash away. But then again, I, at nighttime, it's just gonna freeze and it's gonna make it dangerous as all hell. So <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what the hell I was even thinking right there. So anyway, that's what happens you guys is, um, even a couple weeks after the snowstorm comes in, you guys need to be extremely, extremely careful because during the day, the snow on the sides of, of the road here melt and more often than not trickle down onto the road and before they have time to evaporate, it's already frozen. So there you have some frozen patches in the road two weeks after it snowed. And, and people are wondering why they're sliding all over the roads and stuff. Well, that's why. That's precisely why. There ain't no other reason for it. So yeah. Sorry that this uh, calm before the storm video is a little bit longer, but. I really hope I don't get any phone calls for the next five minutes so we can have a full video without having to cut into it. And it'd be nice to be able to like play my music in the background, but whenever I play music now, like, okay, what used to happen was it, it, it would say we can't monetize these videos, right? Okay, no problem, not a big deal. But it would still let me play the videos and it would tell me I'm not in trouble, but I'm, I'm using copyrighted material, so therefore blah, 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 I'm not getting paid or whatever, who cares? That's not the point, so. But now what it says, when I'm just trying to do a nice drive around town with some like Enigma in the background or, or, or something, it says blocked worldwide. So nobody can watch the videos except me. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, guys so so this is gonna be quite the weather event I'm really concerned for you guys down the hill near those burn areas and whatnot just just brace yourselves brace yourselves this is the biggest storm of the season the biggest storm of the season yo it's gonna be nuts it's gonna be nuts it's gonna be nuts so once it starts turning over to snow we're only expecting less than an inch of snow but we're expecting like five six seven eight inches of rain up here it's gonna be nuts it's gonna be nuts. I'm looking forward to it because we need it. And Baldwin's gonna look so amazing if the rain comes down hard enough. When we get big, big snows, um, once the snow starts to melt, Baldwin turns into a lake for a, a little bit and it just looks so cool. Just looks so cool.
guy. <clears throat> wow, those clouds look really, really, really cool. <clears throat> Guys, this is going to be a significant storm. It's just so unfortunate that the snow levels are going to be so elevated. But the forecasters have been so wrong the whole time I've lived up here. Maybe they'll be wrong again and it'll start off a lot lower. The snow elevations, that is. And it's no one's fault. It's no black and white. What do you me? All right. <clears throat> I'm so hungry. Yeah. Someone was uh, joking with with me, saying, "How can I drive by get the burger without?" actually getting the burger <laughs> and my response was well I used to work for them and um, it wasn't the greatest experience in the world how how we were treated over there and I just wasn't too fond of them and everything there's frozen anyway I mean it's it's really good food I like it but you, you, you know I was cooking there also with uh, with this young man named Matt and uh, everything's frozen everything's frozen so it's just, yeah, nothing, nothing special. <clears throat> Even their milkshakes were frozen. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. What a douche nozzle. Jeez. What a tool. This guy is such a tool. What a tool. What's up, big dog? What's up, big dog? That was a pretty, pretty looking doggy. That was a pretty looking dog. You going right? Yes, you going right. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm off like a prom dress. I love you all. Let this storm wreak havoc on this town. It needs as much precipitation as possible. Until next time, my peeps.